Coming to Korea, like we like a little bit of tats. Like how was that? How like how has that experience been for you so far? This was I was sitting on the subway and an old grandma literally took out a wet wipe and tried to wipe it off my hand. But when I met his parents, they were like, "Oh, if you're gonna get married, you're gonna cover all of your tattoos. It's gonna be a real like traditional Korean wedding." 그걸 평생 이제 저도 증명하면서 살아야 되는 사람이 된 거죠. 그 각오를 하고 저도 받은 거라서 후회는 안 하고 있습니다. I've, I've actually had like a old like harmony when I went to on a trip to Jeju. And she was like, what? What about your parents? You know, you're never going to get married. Da, da, da. And I've never met her in my life. She just came up to me and just said that. And I thought it was actually kind of funny. And I asked her if she, want, she would marry me. <laughs> what is your name? Where are you from? And how long have you been living in Korea? I'm Chanel. And I'm from Switzerland. I've been living here for one year. When was the first time you got your first tattoo? I was 17. I had to convince my mom. And she was like, OK, if you want to get a, your first tattoo, it has to be one with me. <laughs> So I was like, hell yeah, as long as it's a tattoo, I'm, I'm fine with it. How's the perception of tattoo like in Korea? It depends. I feel like the young people are more open to it and you can connect pretty well with people that are tattooed here. But on the other hand, you're like, <laughs> you're on a subway and you have like this random achoshi or ajuma <laughs> on the opposite, like other side and they're just like giving you the dead stare, like looking into your soul and you're like, oh, nice, hi, I'm really nice, don't worry. <laughs> and would you say, you know, like living in Korea as a heavily tattooed person, life is a lot harder? It might be, yeah. Some of them just judge by cover of the book, you know, but I always try to avoid showing my tattoos in different situations. You know, when I go to a bank or a immigration office or something, I'm just like trying to not really show my tattoos just to make sure that no weird situations. <laughs> what perceptions do Koreans have of you when they see like you have tattoos? Some of them think I'm a criminal. I think especially the elder, older people, the younger people, especially men, think um, open-minded as they call it here in Korea <laughs> which is not true I feel like just by having some ink on your body it doesn't mean that someone is like easy to get kind of <laughs> being out there like going out you know like trying to you know like find a partner how do you think you know like your tattoo you know like play a role like in, in that aspect oh I think this is a hard one like I was in a relationship with a Korean guy and he was heavily tattooed as well so back then it was actually nice because he did not you know just see my tattoos he saw me as a person um, but when I met his parents, they were like, oh, if you're gonna get married, you're gonna cover all of your tattoos. It's gonna be a real, like, traditional Korean wedding. So I was like, what? Okay, yeah, <laughs> why not, you know? But otherwise, I feel like, especially men that are not tattooed, I think they're scared of what their parents would think about me because I feel like it's really not that normal for a woman to be, you know, like, this tattoo with the hands and face and everything. What advice would you give to other foreigners wanting to come to Korea that are heavily inked? Just come here. <laughs> I mean, let nobody stop you from living your best life. Just come here, enjoy Korea. It's, it's pretty, it's nice, and you will have really good friends that are gonna be tattooed as well, so you're gonna connect and everything, so just come here. What's your name, where are you from, and how long have you been in Korea? My name is Christine. I've been in Korea for a total of seven years now. Originally born in North Macedonia, what got you like into you know like having tattoos and all that? So my first tattoo that I got was actually when I was 18 in Macedonia. It was a little owl on my ankle and I didn't think much of it. I just wanted something to do that was against my father's wishes. You know, it was a rebellious tattoo. Then I moved here. I went to travel in Thailand. I got my second tattoo on my back and it was a traditional bamboo tattoo not with a machine. And I was like, okay, this kind of feels nice, you know? Went to Chicago, my friend was a tattoo artist, got a bunch of free tattoos. And you know how people say you will get addicted to it? And I kept denying it. I got addicted to it, it was pretty bad. Came to Korea, Korean artists are like something I've never seen. Like the, just the quality of the tattoo is so amazing here. And the prices are pretty decent compared to the States. Can you give us like ballpark? Like how much it is like you know, to like get a tattoo like in Korea? So I think it would also depend on the design and the style that you're getting, of course. Like um, 
For example, the really thin line floral designs are going to be a lot more cheaper than something more like realism, like the one that I have on my leg. It's like realistic with more, a lot of more details. So I would say like their prices range here between like 500 to 600,000 won per session. And sessions are usually four to five hours. Whereas in the States, it will be a lot more. Coming to Korea, like we, like a little bit of tats. Like how was that, how, like how has that experience been for you so far? When I came from Chicago here last, like 2019, I didn't have any big tattoos like visible on my arm. So like the only visible one was this little rose on my hand. And I remember this was, I was sitting at, on the subway and an old grandma literally took out a wet wipe and tried to wipe it off my hand. This is as vivid as it can be possible in my mind. Like she literally tried to wipe it off without any permission to like touch me or questions. She just started rubbing it and I just pulled out and I was like, excuse me, ma'am, like don't touch me, please. Like as much as I appreciate you trying to do whatever you're trying to do, just don't do it. But then like, the more I started wear, like getting the visible tattoos, starting wearing short sleeves in the summer, like short, you know, short shorts and people would stare at me a lot more often. Even now on the subway, I was getting a lot of stares by the older generation. Younger people don't seem to matter at all, even though it's still illegal, you know, in Korea to do tattoos. But a lot of the younger generations are getting it, so I feel like I'm getting more accepted by the younger people. You just made mention as to, you know, like, the illegality of, you know, like, having tattoos and all that. So, like, can you touch more, like, on that a little bit? Because if you had to, like, think about it, although, like, it's illegal, you have people having tattoos. So, like, how does that work out? So, in Korea, it's illegal to be a tattoo artist and have a shop unless you have a medical degree. And there ain't nobody that's going to get a medical degree and work as a tattoo artist and not go into medical field instead. Most of the shops here are pretty well hidden, and a majority of tattoo artists Artists will not share their address until it's time for your appointment on the day of your appointment. What are the stereotypes that you say, you know, like people have of you having like tattoos and all that in Korea? I think because I'm a foreigner, they don't really have the same stereotype of me as like a degenerate kind of stereotype that they would have of a Korean kid having tattoos. It's much different. They see me as a foreigner and they, you know, foreigners are considered here more open minded. We're we were raised different, so like having tattoos on me, it's still like, yeah, they will stare, they will like look at me and think I did a mistake, I ruined my perfect body that my parents gave me and all of that. But I think when a Korean person looks at a Korean child with tattoos, they judge a lot more and it's more of like, it's a, this child is associated with bad gangs, with bad crowd. <laughs> 부탁드려요. 안녕하세요. 저는 DJ 엘리트 집단의 테이크오버 크루에 있는 DJ 드레이커라고 합니다. DJ 어떻게 시작하게 되셨나요? DJ는 제가 되게 동경하던 직업이었는데 음악을 너무 좋아해가지고 처음에 그냥 리스너, just listener였다가 이제는 플레이어로 되고 싶어가지고 그렇게 DJ가 됐습니다. 타투 언제부터 그 시작하게 되셨나요? 그첫 타투? 첫 타투는 6년 전, 6년 전에 처음에 어깨 처음 받았고 그러면서 이제. 시간 지나면서 계속 하나씩 늘려가다 보니까 지금 여기까지 이제 오게 됐죠. 타투 왜 하고 싶은 건가요? 처음에는 타투에 대해서 저도 되게 부정적이었어요. 되게 부정적이었는데 이제 한번 외국 여행을 한 3개월 정도 다녀오면서 되게 그냥 아 나도 저들이랑 비슷한 라이프 스타일을 좀 갖고 싶다. 그 생각이 들어서 처음에 이제 부모님한테 허락을 받고 저는 어 부모님한테 허락을 받고 그리고 타투를 받았죠. 부모님 엄청 쿨하시네요. 처음에는 좀 그래도 많이 부정적이셨는데 어느 순간부터는 저를 좀 이해해 주시더라고요. 많이 이해해 주시고 어 너의 삶이니까 좀 너한테 맡기겠다. 좀더 믿어 주시는 그게 있는 것 같아요. 지금도 다 허락을 받고 받고 있어요. 네. 한국 사회 같은 경우는 아직 그 타투에 대한 어느 정도 시선을 가잖아요. 혹시 뭐 본인이 경험상으로 그 어떤 시선을 받나요? 그 한국 사회에서 좀 조심스러운 부분이긴 한데. 아직은 많이 좀 보수적이다. 네, 보수적이라서 뭐 다른 나라도 그럴 수 있지만 아직까지 좀 많이 보수적인 시, 시선이 있기 때문에 어르신들은 좀 저의 타투 같은 걸 보시면 많이 놀라시긴 하죠. 남들과 다름을 아직 좀 받아들이지 못하는 부분도 있는 것 같아요. 네, 그래서 저도 좀 남들한테 조심하려고 하고 그러는 편인 것 같아요. 근데 어떻게 보면 이목 타투 같은 경우에는 좀더 네, 남들 봤을 때 어느 정도 뭐 시선 가잖아요. 네. 그래서 뭐 목까지 왜뭐 하게 되셨나요? 타투이스트가 친구예요. 친구가 이제 타투 모델을 해볼 생각 있냐고 제안을 하더라고요. 근데 저도 타투를 좋아하는 입장에서 약간 어 너무 괜찮은 것 같다. 그러면서 이제 타투를 좀 즐기게 된 케이스라서 그럼 점점 이제 타투를 목까지 올리게 됐죠. 그리고 목까지 있으면 뭔가 제 기준에선 좀 섹시하다고 생각했어요. 섹시하죠. <웃음> 섹시하다고 생각해요. 혹시 있으신가요? 
아, 오케이. 네, 그래서 목까지 하게 됐고 좀 보이는 데. 에 있다 보니까 아무래도 좀더 시선이 많이 오는 것 같긴 해요. 한국 사회에서 이 타투에 대한 어떤 고정관념을 가지고 있나요? 불량스럽다? 이렇게 소, 속, 속되게 말하면 좀 약간 양아치스럽다, 갱스럽다 이렇게 받아들이시는 분들이 많은 것 같아요. 근데 타투를 한 사람 입장으로서 제가 남들과 다른 걸 선택한 만큼 거기에 대한 이제 책임, 그 책임도 중요하다 생각해요. 네, 그걸 평생 이제 저도 증명하면서 살아야 되는 사람이 된 거죠. 그 각오를 하고 저도 받은 거라서 후회는 안 하고 있습니다. 전체적인 대학 같은 경우에는 금액 다 합치면 얼마 정도 되나요? 대략적으로 측정해서 그러면 1,500만 원, 한 2,000만 원 정도 지금 할 거예요 아마. Could you briefly introduce yourself? My name is Bianca. I'm from South Africa, and I guess I've been in Korea for about seven, just over seven years now. What got you like into tattoos? I think my first tattoo was when I was 20. I was quite a well-behaved. child so i feel like it was my form of rebellion in a sense so with having you know, like this much you know like tattoos like what stereotypes do koreans have of you i feel like being a foreigner is to my advantage to be honest i've noticed when like if i'm standing somewhere and there's a korean person with as many tattoos as me usually i'm not that judged i feel like the korean is a bit more judged than i am i do get stared at obviously but i used i'm getting i kind of used to being stared at based on your personal opinion what type of image do koreans have of tattoos actually i'm not sure because i know for the background they used to think people were part of a gang so especially with the japanese style tattoos but I, I feel like maybe foreigners and also because there's so many tattoo artists nowadays the image is changing a bit actually i've never been to a jjibang i know some places actually didn't allow people with tattoos in so i haven't been to one because i was always scared of being like rejected i think i was speaking to someone one time and they said they were the only person there without a tattoo everyone else was had tattoos except them and how expensive would you say you know like it is getting a tattoo in korea It's pretty expensive, but I think it's also because it's illegal. Obviously for the tattoo artists, so it's also them keeping themselves safe in a sense. So I guess also depends who you go to. The famous tattoo artists can be a lot more expensive than someone else who's starting up. Where are you from and how, how long have you been in Korea? I've been in Korea for about since 2011, so a little over 10 years. I actually grew up in California. Why did you go to California? Oh, I immigrated there with my parents and, you know, my family, basically. I actually came back to Korea to teach English. And then I had to do, like, the military service, da 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 And after that, like, I don't know what else to do with my life. <laughs> How did you, you know, like, transition from teaching English to, to being, you know, like, an artist? Like I said, like, I've been doing graffiti since I was a teenager. Uh, I, I don't know if I would say I'm, like, an artist, but, like, yeah, I was, you know, working with letters and figured, like, maybe I'll give this a try. And after my military service, I looked around some tattoo uh, shops and found an apprenticeship. How did you start your, your, your tattoo shop? In this shop, actually, with my homie Chang. He, does, uh, he also does lettering and other like, Chicano tattoos. So we have like, similar styles. I do more um, dark lettering and calligraphic uh, styles. Yeah, we just clicked. We decided to open our own shop. Your shop, like, do you guys have like a specific, you know, like type of style? You know, I would say Chicano and dark lettering. I'm more on the dark lettering side. Ko and Chang does like Chicano style. When did you get like your first tattoo? Actually, my first tattoo was like during my apprenticeship. I wasn't the only apprentice. There was like a few more, and we just kind of tattooed each other like for practice. Why did you, you know, like decide to get more tattoos and especially like on your head? I shaved my head one day because it was cheaper to like, you know, just. Instead of going to the barber, yeah. And then it looked plain and I just wanted to decorate it. There's no real, like, there isn't like a deep meaning behind it or anything. How do you think, you know, people out here like treat you? I mean, yeah, I get like weird looks, like especially from like the older generation and also it depends on like where you are. But like around this area, when there's a lot of other people who are tattooed, it's not as bad. Personally, I kind of like it. For example, if I go to a party or at a social meeting place, there are people that avoid me. And then, but also there are people that I'm getting to talk to because of the tattoos. It kind of filters out people that I don't really need in my life anyway. And it attracts people that I want to be friends with, so. What would you say, you know, like, are the stereotypes Koreans have of you? It depends who you're talking to, but um, the younger generations don't really trip like that. But um, older people, yeah, there are people. I, I would get comments like, oh, you're never going to get married, da da da. I've, I've actually had like an old, like, uh, harmony. When I went to on a trip to 
Jeju. And she was like, <gasps> what? What about your parents? You know, you're never going to get married. Da, da, da. And I've never met her in my life. She just came up to me and just said that. And I thought it was actually kind of funny. And I asked her if she, want, she would marry me. <laughs> <laughs> and just kind of make a joke about it. Would you say, you know, like going forward, like the Korean society would actually, you know, like embrace more people like with tattoos? Probably. I've also, at the same time, I've had comments from um, people from the same generation and say like, oh, you, that, all those tattoos must have, you know, costed a lot of money. Or you're a tattooer, you must make a lot of money. And I could see it changing like that, but maybe it'll take a long time. Where are you from and how long have you been in Korea? I'm from Morocco and I've been in Korea for six years now. Can you briefly tell me about like the tattoos you have? Yeah, I have almost full body tattoos. I like tattoos because it's language. You can speak without speak. Would you have, you know, like a facial tattoo? How do Koreans view you? Most of people just always look into me like, whoa, this guy is crazy, like, especially in Subway or in like, you know, restaurant or like, Old people, they keep looking to me, but young people, they understand a little, little bit, they understand. And some people, they love too much, like my churches, they say, like, yo, guy, you're, you're nice. Sometimes I met some Korean people that are more crazier than me, <laughs> yeah. What are the stereotypes Koreans have of you with, you know, like tattoos? Actually, Korean culture, they think a little bad about tattoos because when you saw you, then them, that that is mean like you work with gangsters or you're doing bad work or like you against the law or something like that on general but lately the youngest generations of korea they understand that is just art or something like that yeah could you having like a lot of tattoos how is it like you know finding jobs in korea actually it is a lot of impossible but if you have like yourself job or like online job you can find a way to live or you can use your tattoos as a good point example you can be a model or you can be like if you're artist or something then that is help you 